Hello everyone and welcome to Adventures in Bookland. I am Shahira Ali and today I will be reading to you the story called How Living and Non-Living Things Move. Let's begin. Pete's class is in an uproar. Pete has on a costume. It is the costume of a dog. Pete moves about the classroom like a dog. He also barks like a dog. Woof! 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 Barks Pete. The children and their teacher all have a good laugh. Javon now moves like a frog. Javon has on the costume of a frog. He leaps about like a frog. He also makes the sound of a frog. Pumkanat! Pumkanat! goes Javon. The children burst into laughter. So too does their teacher. Their teacher shows the children a picture. It is a picture of a bird. How do birds move? The teacher now asks her class. Miss, they walk, run, and fly, says Kelly. She then shows her class how birds fly. The teacher then says to the class, Do you know that plants can also move? Yes, miss, they grow, says Risha. Quite correct, says their teacher. She now shows them a video clip. The video clip shows plants growing. Their teacher tells the class that non-living things can be moved. Yes, non-living things can be moved. Non-living things move when pushed, pulled, or turned. The teacher then asks Kelly to move a book across the table. Kelly pushes the book across the table. And just like that, we have come to the end of this story. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for me. Bye.